Hey everybody, do you want to add some instant curb appeal to your house for a relatively low cost and easy build? Well, I'm going to show you how coming up. So we have our measurements that we're going to install. We want to start off with our backboard, which is our uh, 16 footer. We know we need 191 inches, uh, but we want overhang. That is mainly for support. And then we're going to actually cut our decorative out of the uh, eight and the 10 foot two by sixes. So the first thing we're going to do is take and cut all of our material and go ahead and cut our bevels on it so I'm going to bring you close to the uh, saw so you can see that happening. So first things first, we're going to start off with our short cross pieces. You'll take a 4x4, four four, cut them all at 18 inches. You'll need 9 of them if you're doing a 16 foot door like I did. You'll have to measure and whatever yours is, you know, determine how many you need. And then, and from here, Mark out inch and a quarter. And what I like to do is get my saw, since I gotta make multiple of these, is get my saw and set it up and then draw a line on my base of my saw so that when you cut it. And if you have another one, for example, if you were cutting this in, all you would do is line it up on your mark, cut it. So you need nine of those. And then we're moving to our eight and our 10 foot uh, two by sixes. And the way they work is two inches. Mark down two inches. And then since you only have four of these, it's not a big deal to mark them. But that's where you cut him. Like so, and then we'll move on to our six by sixes. And it's gonna be two inch also. We're gonna mark down two inch also. But here, what you wanna do, mine has a pretty massive crack. I wanna put that up, because you never see the top side. So what we're gonna do is turn him like that. Measure our two inches. That, the reason for that gives us three pretty sides, is what we're shooting for. And we're sliding where we want him. And this one's a little tricky because you can't do it. I mean, I guess if you have a bigger saw, you can, but I, I think this is a 12 inch, so I guess a 14 might go, because this is close. But when you cut it, so I gave him everything it could, and you'll flip him over, and this is where the trickier part comes in. What I like to do is roll my fence here, and I go ahead and get my saw close. And then if you eyeball down the fence, you can see the uh, your original cut. And you just want to get him straight. And there we go. And that should smooth. Okay. And then next, you're going to take your uh, 45 you're gonna take your 45 and cut it long point to long point 18 and a half inches You'll need two of those. Then we'll take your last two by six and cut it at 22 inches. And then to add a little bit of flair, I like to take my saw, set it to a 45, and just trim that corner right there off.
like so and it gives you that same profile as everything else now we're going to start a, uh, assembling part of him and before we stain so first things first we're going to uh, build our brackets and uh, they're fairly fairly simple you got your top piece you've got your angled brace at a 45 degree and then you've got the the last ones we cut here you'll go flush here and then uh, make it a right angle you know that's what we've got our framing square here so what we're gonna do is just uh, like I say square them up and then we'll screw our um, angle brace in so first things first we'll take these two pieces here our top and our back and I've got some three and three quarter inch structural screws because this gentleman right here there's a lot of pressure here and there'll be a good bit of pressure on this angle brace so we want to make sure we get them together really well and uh, somewhere that's going to hold so get him squared up or, and I like to try to drive him I like to try to drive him flush you see because this is mounting to the wall so we want it to keep it as flush as we can at least I'm going to throw two of them in there there we go and then we put our angle and you just make it to where your two joint uh, angles line up the way you want and we'll be putting three inch screws what I like to do is get him how you want him and then you know once your uh, angles are right it should be one inch from either side so we'll get us an inch mark here and that should be center of that six by six we're gonna take our threes here and what I like to do here is I like to set it beside it to know the angle and where I need to put it that I get some good penetration. It's going to be about two inches down if you go straight in to the six by six. There we go. I want to make sure that bottom's pretty close before we... Uh, screw this other side in there we go and now we're going to uh, run a couple back from this side and you want to make sure you stay kind of on the back of the post because see if we're up here up front it's going to come through so you want to stay close to the back when you go through him one more in there we got a good solid hold on that one so we'll throw one more perfect and that is your supports we're going to build two of these so i'm going to go ahead and build the second one and then we'll move on to our cross bracing so what you want to do now is measure that in you know you set your your eight and your ten up on here you want to measure both ends and add that number together and then divide it my number is 24 inches which is what it should be so we measure from one side and get our 12 inches and then uh once we know we got him where we want him we'll throw a nail here just a that's just a hold for now And the only reason we're only putting enough to hold is this is the side you're going to see. It's the side that faces out. This, uh, I mean, yeah, that faces out. The other side is the side that faces in. And we don't want to see a whole bunch of nails on this side. So 
So there we go. All we're gonna do now is flip him over and nail him off and then uh, we'll put the other one together. All right, so what you end up with is this gentleman right here. That beam right there. And here's your other one. Now that we got all that done, I'm gonna stain everything and then we'll install our tops and all that's left is to put it on the house. So I'm gonna do that. All right, once we have him stained up, what you're gonna to need to do is take your long point to long point, which on mine is 18 feet. And then we wanna start our first runner at six inches off of that end. So you take your calculator, you go 18 feet times 12 is 216, 216 inches. And then uh, you wanna divide that by one less than the number of runners you have. So I have nine runners. That means I wanna divide that by eight. And then, sorry. Um, Once you take your 216, you want to subtract 12 inches. That's six here and six there, so we take that 12 off. Leaves us a 204. We divide that by eight. It gives us 25.5. So then you lay out from that end 25. It says 25 and a half. Um, so you can do 25 and a half, or really, if you did, yeah, you would notice it. So 25 and a half inches. And what I did is um, my mark you'll set it to the um, you'll set it ahead of your mark so if you said you know if you're at a hundred inches well then that's this side the side you measured from you set ahead of that mark the way you measured so and then I took these five inch uh, structural screws which they've got a big head and they're a big screw I'm gonna drive a screw into each and then as far as how far they are apart uh, your two your two runners how far your two runners are apart uh, this is 16 inches I had planned on 12 which is 4 inches so from the outside of this one to the outside of that one I'm going to do 12 inches um, yeah it's outside to outside it's going to be 12 inches and that's where you set your runner so I'm going to run these real quick and then all that will be left is to install First thing we're gonna do is find a level point. We assume the concrete's level. We assume the door's level, which I know it is because I put this door in. But you put your level up, make sure you're good and level, and from there you measure up, put a mark, and mount both of your brackets. We're gonna do that. Just like that, curb appeal. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, keep making dust.